Hey, good morning. Welcome back to our devotional time. We are today in 1 Samuel chapter 28, today verses 3 through 6. So let's read it, then we'll think about it, then we'll pray together briefly. Now Samuel had died, and all Israel had lamented for him, and buried him in Ramah, in his own city. And Saul had put the mediums and the spiritists out of the land. Then the Philistines gathered together, and came and encamped at Shunem. So Saul gathered all Israel together, and they encamped at Gilboa. When Saul saw the army of the Philistines, he was afraid, and his heart trembled greatly. And when Saul inquired of the Lord, the Lord did not answer him, either by dreams or by Urim or by the prophets. And we're going to pause there. That's the end of our reading for today. We'll pick it up tomorrow morning. But again, there's sort of a marshalling of the forces of the Philistines. Saul gets together his forces, and I'm sure he didn't tell anybody, but Saul is trembling. He's so afraid because as he looks at the apparent balance of power... It looks hopeless for him and his people. He's trembling greatly. He was afraid, and he was also afraid because God wasn't answering him. His prophets weren't pouring over and giving him insight. He's not getting any kind of answers by by prophets. The Urim and the Thummim that the priests are wearing, that's not, God isn't answering that way. So Saul's behavior, Saul's uh, priorities, and his his, uh, ridiculous spirit up till this point has left him uh, bereft of the Spirit of God, and he is facing this insurmountable cataclysmic problem, and he recognizes he's facing it absolutely, absolutely alone. That's where we're going to leave that today. Now, what, what, again, can we draw from this? Well, we better be pretty careful about uh, getting into a situation where God will not answer us. Uh, God likes to lead us providentially. He likes to be our guide. He wants to be our helper. And Saul has got himself off into a corner here where where God is refusing, utterly refusing, to give Saul any kind of guidance. And so Saul is left to himself. And that's the last thing we want to be. I mean, we all feel like we're big, wide, and big, independent Uh, heroic people. We know how to do it. We'll just get out there and spend our energy and it'll all fall out right to the end. We'll roll the credits and have a happy ending. But you know what we have here is the fact that when a man is left to himself, when he's all alone, when God is refusing to uh, guide him, he is in the most dangerous place he could possibly be in. And Saul, and I think we'll find this here in the imminent uh, thing here, Saul is in the most dangerous place of his life and he's there without God. This is tragic. So Saul now is left to himself, and he's going to make a decision which will be utterly and eternally catastrophic. But it stems from the situation which he allowed to develop. He allowed there to become a distance between him and God. He allowed himself to be separated from God. He wandered away. He intentionally walked away further. And now in his time of the greatest need, he's left all to himself. And a man who's left all to himself is not only very lonely, he is ready to self-destruct. God help us so that none of us come to a space like that. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, the most dangerous place a person can be is left all alone to their own wisdom. Because at the end of the day, that's a pretty tiny thimble full of nothing. Lord, we want to be right with you. We want you to be our leader. Please Uh, Please help us not to come into a situation such as Saul has driven himself into. And we know that when we're confronted by a giant spiritual emergency, as Saul is now confronted, we know that you want to be our helper, you want to be our leader. But we also know that the choices we make about drawing close to you or doing it our own way, those things have their consequences as well. And now Saul is utterly left to himself. Lord, may it not be true for us. May we turn towards you. May we repent and turn towards you if we've turned away from you in any strong way. Lord, help us not to come into the failure of Saul. And so, Lord, this we pray today in Jesus' name. Amen. So there's our lesson for today. Uh, Don't trust yourself too much. I'm sure you'll make a catastrophic mistake if you're making decisions apart from the Lord Jesus. Let's not do that. Instead, have a wonderful day serving the Lord Jesus and his blessings. May they be upon you and upon your family. God be with you.